So when I started really building my real estate career, I was missing a major component because I wanted to do everything by myself. Meaning I wanted to have my little company, so to speak, little, but my company and my people and my team, and I wanted to learn everything and do it myself. And boy, I was wrong. Today, we're going to get into why and how and all the things about networking, because networking is the very thing that will sustain you. And I had no idea how important that was. So listen, when I started in real estate, I just could not wrap my head around so many gurus talking about how awesome and how important networking was. And I was, I was dead wrong. I was so wrong. And now like the value of networking is like what is completely sustaining my business. Here's the thing. This is what happens. If you begin to build relationships in the real estate world, you will then start to do deals with those people. You will share contacts with those people. All, both of those things make you money. So let's just break those things down. Just two, start with two. Here's the thing. So right now, I've got multiple friends, multiple real estate agents, multiple people at title companies who send me deals because I at some point realized how important it would be to enrich those key relationships. So I'll say uh, friends, for where do these friends come from? Well, I had to shift early on and you will too from some of my old friends who I used to do other types of things with. And at some point I surrounded myself with real estate investors, people really in the game with real estate agents, with attorneys in the real estate business, um, appraisers, who else? Um, contractors. All of these people now send me deals all the time. I do deals all the time that I don't have to pay money to find because I did, I spent the time and I still spend the time building those relationships. So people, once you get the ball rolling, and they see what you're doing, and they can trust that if they send you a lead, you're gonna take care of it, will send you deal. So where do these friends come from? I started going to real estate meetups, right? And I started jo joining online communities. So those are two places right there. If you're not going to real estate meetups, you're, you're really, really, really missing out. But there's two kinds of people who go to real estate, maybe three kinds of people who go to real estate meetups. There is, but the, the kind of person you want to be, because I'm trying not to waste time, is you want to be the kind of person who doesn't just constantly talk about yourself the whole damn time. I've been that person too. Sometimes I get really excited about what we got going on and I just want to tell everybody, but you work to share what's going on in your life and listen what's going on in other people's life. And you don't just sit in one little corner and talk to one person. You make your way around the room. You never go to a real estate meetup without business cards, without your phone out, ready to take numbers, ready to network. And this is another thing. When you leave a real estate network, that night or the next day, you reach out to some of those people like immediately while they remember who you are. And it will imprint like I have people who I met at real estate um, networking e uh, events, yeah, meetups, who months later called me and asked me to be their coach. Um, I have people who I met 
And like, I never would have thought that it would have become some amazing relationship. But like, I'm thinking of one person in particular, I met at a real estate meetup and like three or four, well, the next day I sent her a message and was like, Hey, look, you know, we don't work exactly in the same community, but right on the edge, there's a, there's an edge between us that kind of is no man's land. And sometimes I get out there and do some deals out there. It's closer to you. If that ever happens and I need some boots on the ground, would you be interested? Oh yes. Send me any information you have on any deal. I'll be happy to take a look at it. Okay, I just met this lady that night or the night before. Now I send these messages out to a couple people. Um, one of them now is, is now a student of mine, two of them, two of them from the same meetup as a student. And another one I bought a deal from in one meetup. Now it didn't happen the next day. This is over time. So eventually things changed in life. I was looking for a property in this area where I met this woman. I didn't meet her there. We met in another city, but I knew she was in this city. So I reach out to her and I say, hey, do you remember me, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Listen, I got this deal. Would you go take a look at it for me? Blah, blah, blah. Well, we ended up working out the whole situation and she locked up a deal. And for a small fee, I paid her to like be boots on the ground, lock up the deal, everything. And I bought the deal. Okay. So the point of that is that's three very key people in my life that I would have never met if I wouldn't have gone to a real estate meetup. Prepare to talk. Prepare to share what I am trying to do in my business and listen to where they live, what they have going on, what kind of deals do they like. Make notes, put notes in your phone. You got to be wise. So like, I'll put silly notes. I'll, I'll, I'll be like, I'll meet somebody named Richard and, and I'll put in there like Richard, the king of uh, 16 plexes, you know? And then I'll remember that when I talk to that guy, he's looking for buildings with, you know, 16 to 24 doors or something like that. So you make little notes, you make little cues because a lot of times it's the only thing I have to go on when these people call me again, or if I reach out to them again, um, always put where they work, what city they work, what, what markets they work in. Um, these things are just essential. And so online, what happens is too online, you can join communities and the way, the way to build relationships online is start helping people. So Whatever it is that you can help someone with, you will be able to find a person asking that question online. So you join a real estate group and you'll see people asking the most simple questions to the most complex questions. Um, and if you're a newbie and all you know is the easy stuff right at the beginning, fine. You reach out to that person in a comment, you ask to do an instant message, you connect. And you start building a relationship. Hey, man, I, I don't know for sure if I know the answer to this, but this is what I think it is. Why don't we work on it and try to find out it together? I know so-and-so who might be able to answer this question for us. Okay. So this is how you do it. Now, over time, you end up building a very big presence in the real estate industry, like at least in your community, right? At least in your community, because you've met all the real estate attorneys. You've met all the real estate agents who are really doing interesting things. You meet the people who are doing apartment complexes. You meet the flipping guys. You meet the um, the ladies who love to decorate and and do design, all this stuff, okay, on and on and on. You understand, over time, you have a massive amount of people who know what you do and you know what they do. And this is a 
huge, huge, huge key to sustaining your business. Now, I'm going to talk about that. Because what happens is you go through phases in your business. And you may go through a phase in your business where you can't focus on lead generation. You need to do something else. You might need to hire some employees and train them and build systems, right? And that's going to take, let's say that takes three months to do this thing that you need to do. Like, I like really need to get this part of my business locked down and I can't do this anymore. I've got to hire somebody. It's going to take a month and a half to train these people. It's going to take weeks to even find the right person. And the whole time, you may not be able to focus on leads. Your network is what's going to sustain you through those periods of time. So I've given some examples of how to begin to build a network. There, there are lots more, but apply your own mind, apply your own skills, be a good note taker. Don't be lazy with things like that. Put information in your phone. Your phone remembers everything. And then you can transfer it from phone to phone to your computer to all this stuff. Get people's email addresses. So important, so key. Get people's email addresses. Um, and remember that this is a secret. This is like this, this really, if you learn this at the beginning, you you will be way ahead of people who naturally figure this out through the course of just doing their business like I did. It took me years before this clicked. So network is one of the top essential things in having a sustainable, scalable business. I hope this helps you.